Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. I got a customer's horn in, and, and once in his life, the customer told me, the family member thought I'd make it look pretty. They car waxed it. So now I have all this hardened car wax in here. And yes, you could come in very daintily and cut out everything with a straight razor. But since this has been shellacked, and I'm going to re-shellac re -shellac it on the outside because I've already hit the inside here. So how do we get the whiteness in the grain out? And this happens sometimes. We have some staining in here I have to fix. What you need, and don't cringe on me, I'm going to use the little toothbrush brass from Harbor Freight. You're going to use a metal brush? On I'm going to use horn? a brass brush on this. And what it's going to do is it's going to get into the oak Grain. the grains. And it's going to pull that out. And then we'll come back and we'll shellac and we'll fill those back in. You'll never know this happened. Why don't you just use a toothbrush? Because a toothbrush doesn't have enough force to get this out of the grain. It, it's kind of like in a canyon. So you have the grains like this. Say it's like Spock. So you can get the toothbrush out here, but we have to get down into the bottom of the grain to get the white car wax out. So uh, let's do a spot like we'll do right in here. So you take your this and you just gently, and yeah, some of the finish is gonna come off. See how that's coming out? We can do it right in here. You have to go with the grain. Watch up in here. And if you get in here, you can come in sideways. But now you've got a mark on the horn. Yep, we'll do this. And this takes a lot of time and elbow grease. And then what we'll do, I'll come back in here, double check it all, get all the white out. Then I will come in, buff the whole thing out with four out steel wool because it's shellac and you can do that with a shellac. Then I'll re-shellac it and you'll never see it again. This is how you save things. Instead of taking this apart, risking stripping it down, and have, having it come unshucked. And losing 100 years of patina. And losing 100 years of patina. This is the easy and economical way to do it, plus it really works. You can see over here on the horn, I've done all this in here. I started with this white line right there, and I've done all this over here. It does look good. It does look good. Once you're done, and then you shellac, shellac's reversible. And you're going to shellac it like you just showed I'll, sh I'll shellac it like I did in the last video with the decal set, but I'll use my professional rudder that I have in a jar and then make it and it'd be real easy. You know, it's a lot of fun, and that's my tip for the day.